Hello everyone and welcome today to today's Ambassador Tournament. Um, my name is India Nat and I'm going to be playing 10 deals that you are also playing. And I'm going to be talking through as I go so that you can hear my thought processes. Um, and there will be some written analysis as well afterwards. Um, because obviously when, when the play is happening things can go quite quickly and it can be a bit difficult to follow sometimes. Uh, so it will all be written up afterwards. Okay, so on this first hand I have 14 points. Um, I'm 1, 4, 3, 5. So I'm going to start by opening my longest suit. I hope that's not too controversial. And my partner has bid two diamonds, but because it's over a one heart over call, it's not game forcing. It's just uh, a 10 plus, so invitational plus. Now oh, here it says 9 plus. Yeah. Yeah, similar. So actually my hand is not too bad given the context of the auction. So you might think, oh, those hearts look a bit rubbish. But remember, the opponents have bid one heart. So if there are five here and four here, then it's quite likely that my partner has no more than two. Probably East um, only has two as well because they didn't support. So good to bear that in mind. But do also remember that East might just not have any points in this particular auction. Um, do I have anything good to say? I can support the diamonds. It should promise a five card suit. Yes, it does. I'm going to do that because, you know, I don't have a heart stop. Apparently my partner does. Great. Well, I'm not going to argue. Still have minimum hand. Okay, yep. my partner had 11 with a heart stop. So how many tricks are we expecting to take here? Got two spades, provided we unblock the suit. It's always good to make a mental note of this kind of thing right at the beginning. One heart, now that they've led the suit, so that's three. One club, the ace, and two diamonds. So that's six tricks overall at the moment. Uh, this is going to be quite an interesting one to play, I think. So it was West who overcalled the hearts. I'm kind of hoping they win the first trick and then play one back because then they sever the communication for me. Uh, but if they're sharp, which usually they are, um, they're not going to do that. They're just going to let me win the first trick, which is a bit annoying. And then I'm going to have to do some guessing. If I want three more tricks, then the obvious thing to do is to work out who has the Queen of Diamonds. And today that is more likely to be East, because West has shown five hearts and East only has two. Well, they did win the first one. Excellent. So that actually improves my odds a little bit because what I can do here is I can take a finesse into the safe hand, which is East, knowing that they don't have any more hearts to play. So I might actually take the finesse effectively the wrong way um, just to make sure that East can't win a trick. If I do that, there might be a blockage issue. Um, if West covers the jack, no, if West comes, covers the jack, we're all right. Another thing to think about is, do I want to unblock the spade straight away? Possibly. But then it might be really obvious that they shouldn't be playing spades back, that they should play clubs. Hmm. But if I don't unblock the spade, then I play diamond, diamond and they can just scupper me by playing a diamond back. 
so I need to unblock this spade. Maybe I can try to make it look like I'm trying to push out the ace. Sorry, yeah, the ace of diamonds. So play the jack, the safe hand. Oh, it turned out that was the right thing to do. Amazing. Wow. Now it looks like the king of clubs is on side as well. Because what on earth does East have? Otherwise, not much. Three. This is going to be a good score. Now my um, club finesse is for the over trick. brave enough to take it. Some good things have already happened to me on this hand. <laughs> Five, four in the red suits. They didn't lead a five card spade suit. Because they led their partner's suit. Five, one, three, four. They didn't need a six card spade suit. Hmm. I think because some good, I've already done some good things on this hand by guessing the diamonds. So I'm not going to take the greedy line. West could well have the, the king of clubs here. So I'm not going to risk it. Yeah, good, great. Nine tricks. Hard earned nine tricks. This hand's quite interesting. Um, first of all, there's a bit of a, what's called a vacant space problem. So trying to think about how many spaces each opponent has in their hand for the Queen of Diamonds. Um, and from the bidding, we only know that West has five hearts and East only has two, the bidding and the lead. Um, we don't know about this huge spade suit over here, which they might have done well to lead, actually. Or West could have just ducked the first trick. Um, so we didn't know about that skewing the odds. In which case, we thought there was actually more likely that the Queen of Diamonds was over here, which it was at that point. Um, but because this hand is the safe hand, once they play Ace of Hearts and another heart, it's actually safer to finesse into that hand because then they can't play any more hearts. And the other thing to, to take note of is the timing of unblocking the spade. It seems a bit weird to do it this early um, and a bit like we're giving away what's in our hand. Uh, but we need to do it because they can easily just cut us off from this king of spades, which we count as a trick, provided that we did the unblocking. So do check your your honour configuration so that you know whether you need to unblock something. It's really easy to, to make a mistake like that. It's a good start. See, we didn't need 10 tricks. We weren't getting them anyway. Going down would have been bad. Okay, on this hand we've got uh, 14, 1, 3, 5, 4. So again, let's open our longest suit. Our partner has bit of heart. So these hands are interesting, depending on your philosophy a little bit. So you might feel that you never want to play in the 4, 3 fit, and therefore you just want to bid your second suit to show 5, 4 perfectly sensible thing to do or sometimes if you do that it can be a little bit difficult to uh, find your 5-3 fit because if partner is weak they don't have another action over two clubs to show five hearts so then they just give preference between your suits. The other thing to bear in mind is that we have a singleton spade so 
What's going to take more space away from the opponents? Well, I think if we bid two clubs, it's going to make it a little bit more obvious uh, that they might have a spade fit. Whereas if we raise the hearts, it could be that they have a club fit, so they might be a bit afraid of doubling if they don't have the right shape. So since neither of them actually take out two spades, the main consideration is what gives away more. I am actually just going to raise the hearts and accept that sometimes I'll play in the 4-3 fit. Okay, so they're offering three no trumps, which makes it that they only have four cards. Yes, that's correct. They have a balanced hand. They have stoppers in the unbid suits. I'm going to leave them to it. Great. So the opponents do have a spade fit, um, but they didn't manage to get in there and tell each other, which might mean that they end up with some sort of spade blockage the fourth highest here which is the two so good to bear in mind that we think that left hand opponent has exactly four spades and therefore right hand opponent has five how many tricks do we have well on this lead we have at least one spade so when you're counting these tricks where you have king queen jack yes you can have two but the lead itself only gives you one if they don't play the ace on this trick we only have one and we will therefore need to create another one, so don't get too optimistic in these situations. It's just one. Three hearts is four. And assuming that the diamonds are, are three, two, um, we have nine tricks. If they're not three, two, we will be able to create another diamond trick by playing the suit. We will have stoppers. Or also we could play a club could play a club towards the king queen uh, twice if we're very brave depending on exactly what pops up but the first thing to find out is whether the diamonds break another good thing to note uh, while we're at this stage is that because we have a seven card heart fit we could well create a, uh, a trick this might be the 13th heart if they're three three or if the person who has four hearts mistakenly discards one They're probably not going to because um, we've actually told them that we have hearts. Okay. Let's start figuring out what these diamonds are all about. Okay, everyone's followed so far. It looks like which ones are they missing so the eight and the four were played uh the six is the only one lower than the eight the eight is a bit of a mysterious card it could be from eight jack ten the four is definitely a low card because we had the three and we can see the two so that looks like it does look like the suit is three two it is okay so at this point before we cash another round of diamonds since we're in our hand it might be beneficial for us to play a club to the dummy see what happens if the ace pops up then we're very likely to make 11 tricks it didn't pop up but it did be talking that's a shame okay Still possible for us to make 11 tricks. Don't think this club is going to be useful, but at the same time, the heart from the short suit is probably a better bet because you never know. They might suddenly discard all their clubs. Mm -hmm. and now I have to keep both hearts, so I'll throw a club. I win this trick. And now I want to make the rest of the tricks. Let's put some pressure on them. It's left hand opponent through a heart, that's potentially important. Uh, okay. We're all right now. 
All oh, right, we have the rest, Queen of Clubs and the Hearts, making it level. Great. So on this hand, um, interesting points um, are that when our left-hand opponent led the two, they were telling us that they had four cards in spades because they didn't have a lower one than the two, and they play four highest leads. So we knew at that point that the spades were four, and then five over here. Other things were paying attention to the opponent's count signals to get a clue about the diamonds. And the other things were keeping, keeping our options open a little bit, playing a club before we start cashing the diamonds, so it really helps us know what to discard later. And the other thing was when we were counting our tricks, we don't want to prematurely count two spade tricks. We haven't got them yet, um, just from the lead. When the ace doesn't get played on trick one, we, we win that trick but we haven't yet created our second spade trick. So don't be too optimistic in those situations. Okay, well, we weren't gonna do better than that. What does the next deal have in store for us? Hmm. Not a huge amount, it seems, since we only have eight points and our partner's passed. Balanced as well. So you might consider balancing with uh, two diamonds here. Um, the spade situation is a little bit suspicious. Looks like po probably your partner has a lot of spades, in which case the fact that they've stayed quiet twice uh, is very nerve wracking. The most the opponents could have between them are four here and only three here. So partner's got at least four spades. Our diamond's not brilliant, we've got a balanced hand, we're vulnerable against not, we should be passing. Lots of reasons to pass. And our opponent, my, our partner, not our opponent, um, maybe it feels like that sometimes. Our, our partner has led the spade, which is not too surprising because we know they have at least four of them. Um, and actually we know that they have five because we can see that there are only three in the dummy, two here, and West has no more than three because they didn't bid one spade over one heart. Okay, so partner has five spades. And how many points is this? 10, 14. And Declara has up to 11, I believe. Oh, up to 10, apparently. Okay. So they have 24 at most, and we have eight. So it's still loose partner with eight. Um, so partner's got about eight to 12 points and five low spades. So it could be quite useful to set up partner's suit here because they do have entries. Um, I suspect that declare a suit as clubs um, it's very unlikely that it's diamonds because we've got so many of them and they obviously don't have heart support and then you have two of those so I think probably they are three, two, five clubs and three diamonds is very likely Pond has a diamond on her. I think actually diamonds is going to be better overall, but we don't really have time to tell partner that. I'm hoping that throwing the jack of spades underneath will tell partner that I've got something in diamonds. Because from their point of view, it's going to look like um, the Clara has diamonds and not clubs, but actually I'm the one who has diamonds, so just try to give my partner a clue. I have no idea whether they'll take that on board or not. Just give a count, play a low card. Mm -hmm. oh, they're still playing spades anyway. Okay, play low. I think that Declara's ace is probably going to pop up here. Oh, partner had the ace. Now they got the message. Could it be too late? The six, or is the five? Look, 
looking out for the five. It has three clubs. Oh, so maybe it's four four. If my partner has the Queen of Diamonds, we're still okay here. No. Well, we couldn't have done anything. That's really depressing. See, they're even letting me win a trick now, but it doesn't help. It's only one trick. Mm hmm. Oh, they missed a game. Hearts and diamond. But we did well not to let them get another trick, I suppose. It's a bit, a bit sad. It felt like something really good was ha gonna happen then and then all the, all the cards are in the wrong place. Okay, 19 points, uh, balanced hand. Just open our longest suit. Okay. These hands are a little bit complicated now because we don't have a stop in the opponent's suit. Um, and we don't really want to let them have it. So one option is that we might play one no tramp is not showing a stop. Doesn't specify here. We bid two diamonds doesn't quite show enough points. We could double. But then partner's very likely to bid hearts. Mm. I mean, three card, three low cards when they haven't shown support over here is often a stop. And partner might just have a stop anyway. Um, I really don't want to double and have partner bid millions of hearts, so I think I'm going to bid one no trump overall. Okay, well this has worked out quite well. There are six spades over here and partner supported diamonds, so we don't have to play in no trumps. All good. Amazing. So, always orient, orient yourself because it's it's really confusing sometimes. The person on the left is the one who overcalled in spades. And they led the two of clubs. A bit suspicious, you might think, oh, that could be a singleton. But in that case, there are seven clubs over here with the king and the jack. And they didn't open three clubs. King, the jack and the ten. Seems a bit unlikely, really. So I think, I'm more inclined to think that this is a, just from a three or five card suit. So why didn't they lose spade? Because it, they, the suit was headed by the ace and they don't have the king. Which is good news for us. And we do want to push out the king of hearts. We've got to think about uh, where our losers are. We're going to lose a spade. Assuming we'll be able to um, rough the third round of spades, which we almost certainly will. We might lose a diamond, we're missing the queen. Um, got to lose the ace of hearts. That's three. And no clubs, provided we can rough one. So we can make ten tricks even with losing the queen. Um, the Queen of Trumps, provided that we rough a spade or alternatively could throw one way on a heart if entries allow. So they have six spades and three clubs. I'd say they're very likely to only have two hearts though. Which gives them two diamonds, so diamonds might well be 2-2, two, two, even though a priori 
we would expect the finesse to be working. I don't think I'm going to risk it because I can rough more things. If I just don't take the finesse. Okay. Out the ace of hearts. Oh, good. West had it. All right, now we're in a good position. It's all quite simple defense. Uh, well, helpful defense. Just remember to unblock this before we go over. You can rough a club over there. Spade on a heart. We just have the rest of the tricks except the queen now, which is what we expected. Maybe some people will have taken the finesse, but I don't think it's worth it on this hand. Maybe the scores will prove me wrong. No, it's fine. I mean, 150 would put us about here, so we would be getting something like 80%. Um, whereas here we got almost 58%. Um, it's not a huge difference risking uh, an extra under trick and being sort of down here somewhere, which doesn't exist, but uh, the risk was there. Yeah, so my minor mistake would be not taking the finesse, which was more likely to work but perhaps not worth the risk that my right-hand opponent had the Ace of Hearts, which they didn't. Hmm, interesting. So here, I've only got six points. We're vulnerable. Partner's not said anything. Two of my points are in spades, but it looks like they have a spade fit. So it's very tempting to try to get in the way here. In fact, I know that they've got a spade fit. Three clubs doubled. If I go down, then I'm allowed to go two down. Which means I can lose six tricks. I think that's a fair bet. I'm gonna bid three clubs. Okay. Four cards in hearts. Amazing, they've missed their best fit. And now they're trying to play in five diamonds. Okay, I feel like I've messed the auction up for them. This is good. Good, good, good. Yeah, my partner didn't support clubs, which does make it kind of tempting to lead a club in a way because partner will probably be short. But at the same time, um, leading away from the king is a little bit dangerous when I know that the opponents have the points. Maybe the thing to do is just to lead my queen of spades and hope for partner to have the ace. Then I get a rough and then I put the pressure on with the king of clubs. Okay. So, let me check. This is the Clara with only three spades. So maybe they have five spades and four hearts. That seems likely. Four, four clubs over here, wow. That would have been horrible to play against. Um, I'm very likely to only have one club. One, one, would be my guess. Which gives them three diamonds. 
No, they can't have three diamonds, sorry. We're in five diamonds. Okay, so... They have six diamonds, but they bid stamen. They don't have a heart fit. So they have six diamonds and four spades. That gives my partner five spades. Six diamonds, four spades. Three hearts and one club. I'm sorry, no clubs. Hmm. Not looking like there's much hope of taking this contract down, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Signaling making it look like they do indeed have three hearts. They do have a club though. Or maybe they maybe they do only have. I'm just gonna play low because if I cover the jacks promoted anyway. Difference, two hearts, six diamonds, one club, two hearts, four spades. This is the hand, I can't do anything about it though. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's a good idea, partner. Right, actually, what else can he do? Not much. Yes. Hopefully we'll get something for them not playing in three no trumps. Which they can make. Yes, good. Because in three no trumps, they're making 10 or 12 tricks. Never 11. 10 or 12 is one of those things which will, in a second, let's have a look, which will, I think, depend on which suit they play on. Okay, all looking good for us at the moment. Third in the tournament, and we're halfway through. So that's a really nice position to be in. So our partner's opened the spade. Good news for our hand, because we have an invitational hand with four of those. Does Tuno Trunch show anything fancy for us? No, it's natural. Okay, in that case, we're going to bid the opponent's suit. Our partner's four club bid is probably a natural second suit. Oh no, it's a control. It's a control. You can actually, I mean, you don't need this to, to show a control because what you can do if you're interested in slam is... Um, Oh no, that's not the case. Fine. So this shows a stopper in club, a control in clubs. This shows a control in clubs. Does that make me more interested in slam? Well, I don't have a heart control, but I do definitely have a diamond sewed up, sewn up, and it looks like partner's worried about diamonds. Okay, well, if partner's worried about hearts, then I really can't help. I've also got a minimum hand. So it wasn't clubs they were worried about at all. As we suspect, they're going to take the first two tricks. 
Are they going to get anything else? Well, it depends about the Queen of Spades. Um, and actually, we'll, we've got a club loser to worry about as well. Going to rough this third round of hearts at some point. Are we were probably going to take a club finesse. Is that any good? Who's the one who bid? The hearts east. Makes sense. So east has got the hearts. If they have ace, king, queen. Queen of Diamonds, that would be fine. But to be honest, it looks like they probably have the Queen of Clubs, which is not such great news. They might have Queen Queen of Spades, but I was going to take a finesse against their partner. Against humans, this king would make it look like the Queen of Hearts is over here. I'm not so convinced that's the case against the robots. Hmm, how brave are we feeling? Not very, I think. Not very at all. Because if we get this, if we get this, if we take the finesse and this this is, goes wrong, then we really have to find the Queen of Spades. Um, might even still rough out if that's the case. So I'm going to go for it. King of Spades. And the spade. Correct play is the jack. And then they win the queen. Oh, sad. So this is a situation where we have to be a little bit careful about the order we do things in. really combine our chances here and play king of diamonds and rougher diamond in case the queen pops up and if it does then we can discard our second club that's got to be the best play three two okay now it doesn't look like the queen will pop up but Can but try. Make sure you rough high here. So we an entry back to this hand. Cash one of these in case the queen falls. Cross back to the dummy. What do we know? Five hearts. Two spades. Three diamonds, three clubs. Still slightly more likely that the queen is on side. Nothing's on side. They discarded, oh my goodness, they discarded from Dalton Queen. Oh, that's really sad. That's really, really sad. Okay, we went down. We could have made it. Drop the queen. Oh, because they had four diamonds. Mm -hmm. Very bad score. Very bad score. Are people just um, cashing the top two clubs? Or are they getting a different lead? Oh, they're taking the finesse. Ooh, scary. Very scary. 
Okay. Anyway, we're still in the running. It's not the end of the world. Pass. I mean, it's not a beautiful heart suit. I don't really want partner to lead it. That's terrible news. The opponents have hearts. My partner has spades. I am staying very quiet. I'm not even strong enough to bid one no tramp. I'm just hoping that the opponents bid. Okay, one no tramp by them. That seems a bit more comfortable. They're vulnerable, not me. I'd like to take my hundreds if I can. Hmm. Well, I think it's very, very likely because my partner didn't take the opportunity to bid spades twice. I think it's very likely you only have five, in which case I definitely don't want to leave my singleton ace. Um, my longest suit is the opponent's suit. So how about I try a diamond, second highest, without an honour. See whether we've got a secondary fit there. Ooh, good lead. Now we need to give our partner the correct count. They win. They cash their diamond. They play a heart to establish our king, I guess. Hmm. I mean, there's nothing that clever we can do with this singleton ace. I don't think it was a hugely desperate situation for partner to play this heart for us because now we're just going to lose our stop. I mean, we do have more hearts than the opponents. try ducking because if they play a second one then we can actually um, ensure that we get a heart trick near the end so I'm gonna duck okay yep so we just shove them into the dummy back in the dummy and then hopefully our partner has the ten of spades at the end. No. Oh, okay. Well, that's the best we could do. Which is pretty good apparently. Um, not letting them make over tricks. What were the interesting things on this hand? Um, okay, so leading a diamond, so trying to read where the cards are before you start. You know, the opponents have told us that they've got spades all sewn up. Um, so we're not expecting partner to have amazing spades. Um, we're not expecting partner to have six spades because they only bid them once. You know, they're not vulnerable. May well have bid them twice if they really, really want us to lead one. We've got singleton ace. Maybe if they miss guessing spades, which is what happened today. They went jack, queen, king, ace. Maybe then um, we'll feel good about not leading a spade. We don't want to lead our own long suit because we know that left-hand opponent has at least four of them. So we don't want to help them set up what's more likely to be our partner's short suit, as it proved today. So we try to find our secondary fit in diamonds. Effectively, the unbid suit. Um, the defense is kind of interesting in that if you take the king of hearts straight away and just leave them in the dummy, then eventually they're just going to push out your ace of spades. You're not going to get anything else. Um, so you may as well just duck the first round. If they dare to play a second one, you can win. Play one back and you still have your ace of spades as an entry to your heart winner. So it's worth giving that a go. But remember, I will write all this in the analysis as well. 
it's a lot to take in. Okay, good. 67%, it's a nice place to be. They've opened two hearts. We have a rubbish 11 count and more vulnerable, so we're gonna pass. Three hearts, double, well, yes, partner has a singleton heart. So there are six here, three here, three here, and one. I don't want to bid three no trumps on this stop when I know my partner has a singleton. But I have 11 points. So we've probably got a game on. I might just try to play in a 4-3 spade fit. That could really backfire if partner only has three spades. Does partner have three spades very much? Not really. Good. That's who's five cards. Shoes four. That shoes four. Nothing I say is going to be true. It's also not a brilliant hand for playing in a four three fit because with our partner um, potentially having one heart, they're gonna be forced to rough in the long hand when the opponents keep playing hearts. Which is not a good way to keep control. Maybe I'll just show points. Points and no bid. And then if my partner bids four spades, they'll have five of them. Then I'm happy to play in four spades. I have diamonds. Oh, that's good news. That's almost certainly our best contract. But I'm very glad I didn't bid four spades. Brilliant. Okay, four hearts, just a, I don't know, sort of bid. I have points, but I don't know what to do. Three no trumps would not be much fun. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, we do actually, three no trumps would be fine, wouldn't it? But it's not making over tricks. So a way to make an over trick in diamonds. So we're losing one heart and we're losing two clubs, but one of them will be on the side. Who's the one who bid two hearts? The one who's led them. Oh, good. So one of the club honors has to be on side because we know that this is the ace king of hearts over here. That's seven points. I'm not gonna have another five points because then they would have opened one heart. So actually this hand is just gonna be about taking club finesses. Um, is there anything clever we can do? They're not going to fall into the trap of playing a second round of hearts. Yeah, it's not going to be a very interesting hand. It's just going to be about taking club finesses, which are going to work. We'll make the contract. We'll get the same score as people who are playing no trumps. Take an off finesse for us. Now we can draw trumps and push out the glove. Now the diamonds are 2 2. An extremely nothing hand. Now we just have the rest of the tricks. They have managed to make a tenth trick in no trumps, probably because the opponents keep playing hearts. But that would be a mistake. Well, at least we didn't leave the double in. Still got above average for this effort. 
below our average, which is sad, but you shouldn't be bidding three no trumps with a singleton when you know there's a singleton opposite your queen third. It's very dangerous. I don't care what the results say. Don't do it. Okay, our partner's open to 15 to 17 no trumps, so we're going to game. And with five spades and four hearts, I am hoping we're supposed to be bidding stamen and then some sort of smolen, maybe. Okay, so they bid two diamonds. So if I bid three hearts now, does that show five spades and four hearts? Yes, it does, and enough points for game. So I'm going to do that. And the advantage of this convention just means that partner ends up being declarer when we have a spade fit. Great. Do we have any interest in slam? Partner's got 15 to 17. If they don't have points in diamonds, then maybe. Um, so, king, queen of clubs, um, ace, king of spades, book of 12, and the ace of hearts, 16. So that would be good. We're worth a noise. This is actually going to be really helpful. If um, we bid four clubs as a cupid and our partner tells us they have a diamond control, then that's kind of bad news because can we make a slam if they have a diamond control? What if they have this ace rather than that ace? I suppose that would be okay. King, jack of spades is four. Ace of Hearts is 8, King Queen of Clubs is 13, and the Ace of Diamonds is 17. So they have to have a maximum, but still possible. Anyway, I think we're worth one noise. Ace, king, single, no, void. Mm -hmm. Okay. Interesting. So they want a diamond lead. Do I have a way of... This should show a first round control, yes, in diamonds, which I don't have because I don't have a void and I don't have the ace. If I bid four hearts, does that show a second round control in diamonds? Four spades says, I don't have control in diamonds. That doesn't say anything. I have control in hearts. Okay. Partner just wants to play in four spades. I'll let him have it. I've done enough poking. Great, partner's got too much stuff in diamonds. So let me check. West is the one who doubled hearts, that makes sense. East is the one who doubled diamonds. So we are not taking a diamond finesse. That's what we've learnt. We have no trump losers, one heart loser, assuming that we are going to rough two hearts. Oh dear. No, oh, we've got three heart losers. I'm not sure I want to be doing that. Three heart losers, a club loser, yuck, no diamond losers, quite happy to only be in four spades. So we've got to sort out these hearts, they're going to be on the wrong side, the ten is over here as well, as is the jack, not amazing news. Club finesse could be working, but then we also, even if it does work, we need the finesse against the 10 to be working this way round. This is doubleton heart, so roughing art is not safe. 
it's going to be all about these clubs. Hmm. This is a difficult hand. I mean, if they only have two spades, which is unlikely, then we're okay. We can rough the third round of hearts. Or if they don't have the jack. Also unlikely. But that does mean we make our contract. Okay. Mm. They let their king of diamonds. Okay, that changes things. Don't need quite so much stuff in clubs anymore. Right. They let their king of diamonds. That's really bizarre. Okay, so um, does that mean the trumps are not breaking? Hmm. Should be fine. We can throw... Throw the third round of clubs. I'm going to take, need to take the club finesse early, I think. Because if we take a club finesse and then they play a trump back, we're still all right. To stop in every suit. If they play a heart, we can rough it. If they play, if they win and play a club, we're all right. We have to take a club finesse now. They're not going to have played the jack from nothing, so it's not like they're going to get another heart rough. And our hearts are high anyway. Let's double check what we want to do. Well, actually, the tank can pop up now if it wants to. Now we're fine because we can just draw trumps. just making will be a good score. This is quite a difficult contract to play. In some ways, the rough made things a little bit easier for us because um, it meant that we had a bit more trump control. One of the reasons we were worried about roughing the hearts was because of trump control. Um, I mean, some people decided to play no trumps after all that. So only goodbye north, which it was going to be. quite hard for partner to decide to play in no trumps on this hand. I'm not going to worry about that. We have a spade fit. So, uh, yes, yeah, so 
we're concerned about trunk control on this hand. Uh, if we try to rough the rounds of hearts, they're just going to over rough with the jack. We expect. I mean, switching to the king of diamonds was extremely helpful, but it, we actually didn't need it in the end because um, because of the jack of spades falling. It meant that it was safe for us to take a club finesse. A lot of interactivity between the suits on that hand. It's a very interesting one to play. Okay, so we've got maintained our average there. It's not good. We want to go up, 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 up on the last one. So now we need a really good result to finish. Okay, balanced 10 point hand. I'm sure nobody will mind if I pass. My partner's open one no trump, so we're going to game. We're going to bit stamen because I have four hearts. So does my partner. Let's go to game. Okay. Mm, they led my longest suit. Usually a scary thing that means that someone has a singleton, but I'm actually not too worried today. Partly because it's it's solved any problems of worrying about where the ten is on this particular hand. Um, but also because I can safely draw trumps. The only thing is, if the trumps are four one, that could be a problem. What will I do in that case? I'm expecting to lose two spades and a club, um, but then I can draw three rounds of trumps and start running the diamonds. And then I don't have enough discards for my spades. That would be a problem. What if I count my winners instead? Then I'm okay. I have five diamond tricks, four trump tricks, and the ace of clubs. So that's ten. So I will still make it, I just have to draw the trumps. Okay. Nine, ten. Oh, note that the six is an interesting card here. Okay, everyone followed, so I am making my contract. You following here? Yes, okay. This is not going to be that interesting. I'll start by winning over in the dummy because I want to be in my hand later. Deciding whether to take a club finesse. It wasn't a singleton diamond anyway. Nothing was interesting. Okay, through my spades. Everything's working out today. Mm -hmm. And then I rough my club over. Oh, wow. The spade back. I need 12 tricks. Not a very interesting hand to play. Um, it was momentarily interesting, so if it looks like the, the contract is going to be very easy on easy breaks, as you saw that it was, um, then think about all the things that might cause you a problem. So in this case, that was going to be the trumps breaking badly. Um, and if it's sometimes, in, in especially in 4-4 four, four fits, um, if you have some very obvious winners. So here, I knew that the diamonds were all going to be winners once they led led one. So um, I knew I would have five tricks and diamonds and I knew I have four tricks and trumps because I had the top four trumps. Nothing anyone can do about that and I knew I had the ace of clubs. So I always knew I had ten tricks 
no matter what. But if you try to count the losers, then um, on this hand, it's not going going to work. So if you start counting the losers, and you you which you should always start off doing in a suit contract, and you start finding that it's not really leading you to the right answer, then check the winners as well. Sometimes they can be a bit harder to count, but when they're very definite winners like this, um, then it's a bit more straightforward. So there's a top tip for you there. And there we go, we finished on um, about 64.5%, which is decent. Currently uh, 27th overall. Um, so that's not too bad. We had one bad result where we could have made a game and didn't, but uh, I still think the play was sensible. So I'm pretty happy with, with how we played today. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching this. Um, I hope you enjoyed playing the tournament. Um, well done if you managed to beat this score. Obviously, there are still some people playing, uh, so maybe there will be a few more people beating the score later. We'll see. Um, well done if you managed to beat it and get some diamonds. And I hope you found some of my thoughts uh, illuminating and interesting while we were going through this, because... It's really good to kind of get in the mindset of what you should be thinking about. Well, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the written analysis. Take care, everyone, and goodbye.